Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today I have a kind of a change up in the format of some of these past papers. What I have today is a number of IT, information technology questions, multiple choice questions for CSEC. But the thing is, they were extracted from various years of papers because you know, people, you know questions tend to repeat and repeat. So what, the pro, what, what, what was done was that they were extracted, all the ones that were not repeated were extracted and placed in a one big PDF file. And so these are, these are from over a few, uh, um, the past years. These are multiple choice questions for CSEC IT that were taken from past papers over a number of years as to avoid the repetition all right so we have uh, over 100 and something plus questions so we are going to do about maybe two or three videos to complete all of these questions so this is just, this is just part one of the CSEC IT multiple choice practice questions of paper one so this is part one and so what you have to do is you have to subscribe and hit the notification bell and of course like hit the like button so you know when part two and possibly part three drops all right so before further ado let's just jump back right into it so we have number one which of the following devices is not used in point of sale terminals point of sale terminals and so the answer here is of course b a plotter all right you go to the supermarket of course you know you have your barcode reader they scan this stuff you have the cash register you have your your print out of your receipt so that's this is the only one the platter that's the one that's not used all right number two an application in which scanners are commonly used is and of course the answer is a publishing all right a publishing number three which of the following terms does not refer to a form of information processing and so we have here b data validation all right b data validation the, the information would have been processed already but just making sure that the information is given already and so they're making sure it's the correct information number four advantages of information processing includes and the answer here is b again less human intervention less human intervention number five telecommuting can be best described as and of course that's going on a lot today in 2020 and the answer is b working from home by connecting home and office now a lot of people doing the zoom calls and stuff like that so that's an example right there. Number six, when the computer is working on a given instruction, it is called, and the answer here is processing. When the computer is doing calculations, trying to figure out what's going on, that's why you call processing. Number seven, which of the following is not a function of the control unit? And the answer here is D, execute instructions. D, execute instructions. It reads instructions, it interprets instructions, it directs operation, but it doesn't execute instructions. Number eight, the unit of storage used to represent a character is, of course, B, a byte. All right. Number nine, in modern computers, the CPU speed is measured in, and the answer here is D, gigahertz. So when you say somebody have a three gig computer, of course, we're talking about gigahertz, the CPU speed, you know, the Intel um, Core i5, or Core i7, it is, uh, let's say, 3.5 gigahertz. That's how we're talking about the CPU speed. Number 10, in modern personal computers, the CPU speed is measured in, and of course, that's what you see behind it, gigahertz. So if you have your system, make sure you check and see your speed of your CPU, and you'll see this right behind here. All right, gigahertz. Megahertz was way back in the day when they had the Intel Pentium 4 and Pentium 3 and Pentium 2 and those things. Now it's gigahertz. Number 11, which of the following statements best describe the term information? And of course, the answer is B, it is meaningful. So information is where you take the data or the raw information, the raw data, the raw bits and bytes, and turn it into something you can actually use. Something that is meaningful that you can actually use. Number 12, ENIAC was first, was the first, A, electromechanical computer. Electromechanical computer. Number 13, which of the following is an example of a peripheral device? And of course, the answer here is C, the floppy disk. C, the floppy disk. Number 14, a program is a, and the answer here is C, set of instructions. Set of instructions. It's a very obvious answer. Number 15, which, which device is not found in the CPU? Which device is not found in the CPU? 
And of course, a very easy answer, D, a printer. All right. Uh, number 16, the ALU processes data and stores it in, and the answer is B, main memory. In the main memory, most data is stored in the main memory. Number 17, which of the following is not a function of the control unit, and the answer is C, process instructions. Number 18, complex scientific research is usually done using, and of course the answer is B, supercomputers. All right, to see all the NASA and all those things, that is supercomputers to calculate high-end um, programs and stuff like that. Number 19, the main component that formed the basis for the second generation of computer was, and the answer here is D, the trans transistors. And you know, even today, the more transistors on a CPU, you know, the better the CPU is, and, and things like that. Right now, the trend is a, is, a, is a race to get to the smallest die size to get with the most transistors. All right, uh, number 20. The third generation computers were used during the period, and the answer is D, 1964 to 1970. Number 21. Which, which generation of computers used ultra large scale integration, ULSI? And the answer is D, the fourth generation. Number 22, which of the following duties is not expected of a database administrator? And the answer is D, writing programs. All right, writing programs. You're just there to create and maintain data. Number 23, which of the following provides transmission of data in both directions of the, at the same time? And the answer is B, the full duplex. Full duplex. Number 24, in the URL, Choose.com stands for, and the answer is, of course, C, the domain name, the domain name. Number 25, Google is an example of a C, obvious one, a search engine, a search engine. Number 26, transferring of data from a remote computer to your computer is referred to as downloading. And we all know we, we, we engage in downloading regularly. Number 27, the acronym HTTP stands for A, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Number 28, email is the transmission of messages and files via a computer network. Email is short for D, electronic mail. 29, which of the following is not a type of transmission medium? And the answer here is C, the modem. C, the modem. Number 30, persons at a downtown cafe realized that they were able to access the internet on their laptop computers. The cafe could be considered as a Hotspot B hotspot 31. Which of the following technologies does not facilitate the transferring of data between computers in adjacent buildings? And the answer is B Bluetooth. Bluetooth doesn't have that kind of length, you don't have that kind of signal strength. Number 32. Uploading or downloading data to or from a remote computer is done using a file transfer protocol. File transfer protocol. They have all those patches and stuff like that. 33, a group of persons who share common interests and communicate by posting messages and replies on the internet is referred to as a or an, and you have B, a news group. Number 34, each website on the internet can be accessed by entering a unique address. This address is referred to as the D, URL. 35, which of the following items cannot be sent via email? And the answer here is B, parcels. Parcels. You have text document, of course. Sound files, good. Graphic image, yes. But parcels, not really. Number 14 refers to the following icon. In an email program, the icon above is used to D, of course, attach a file. Put on an attachment on your email. Number 37. The ones complement of 01010011 is... And the answer is C, 10101100. 38. Hexadecimal has a base value of C16. Hex C16. The 39. The decimal equivalent of 00001112 is, and we have C15. All right, so you have to know how to do your binaries and stuff like that all right more binaries again we have the bcd representation of my minus 15 is and the answer is d 
101100001001. Number 41, which of the following characteristics must two database tables have in order for them to be linked? And the answer is A, at least one common attribute name. Number 42, the term used to describe an attribute that can function like a primary key is a A, candidate key. Number 43, which of the following is or are true of secondary keys? You have some options here. One, they are used strictly for data retrieval purposes. Two, they are always in text form. Three, they do not contain null values. Four, they do not, they, they do the same functions as the foreign key. And so the best answer here is A, which is one only, they are used strictly for data retrieval purposes. 44, the object that is used to produce a list of records that meets a particular criteria is a, and the answer here is D, a query. Number 45, in a relationship database, tables are also called, and the answer is C, relations. 46, which of the following statement is not true of primary keys? Not true of primary keys. And the answer here is C, they are always in text form. They are always in text form, that's not true. 47, a field in a table that appears as a match of the primary key in another table is called a, and the answer here is C, foreign key. C, foreign key. 48, which of the following devices is used to perform input into the computer? And the answer here is B, a mouse. Mouse is an input device. 49, an example of a point and draw this device is a C mouse, C mouse. Number 50, the technology used to read pencil or pen marks on a multiple choice answer sheet is, and the answer is B, OMR, or optical mark recognition. Number 51, methods that can be used for validation and verification of data are, and the answer is D, all of the above. What is all of the above? Range check data type check, inconsistency checks. So the answer is D, all of the above. Number 52, data verification is checking for, and we have, so we have some options, all right? The answer, um, A, particular data types, B, data in a specific range, C, trans transcription errors, or D, correct relationship between files, and the answer is C, transcription errors. So data verification is checking for transcription errors. 53, which of the following is neither a validation nor a verification check? And the answer is A, storage media check. Storage media check. Now, items, see, well, they have seven and eight here, but that's because they were extracted from a past paper, as I said before. 54, customers tear off section A, section A, of the bill and return the section and the payment to the company. The document above is best described as, and the answer here is B, a turnaround document, a turnaround document. Number 55, which of, the, which of the following technology is most, is the information shown as B in the document most likely printed in? And the answer here, we're looking at B here. All right, yeah, B here. So, and the answer is OCR, OCR, or optical character recognition. 56, what is the most common input device? And the answer is, of course, D, a keyboard. You have them on your phones, you have them on your tablets, you have them on your computer, keyboard. Number 57, which of the following is not a pointing device? And so the answer here is B, M-I-C-R, the M-I-C-R. Number 58, a device that enables the user to control the movement of objects on the screen by operating a small lever is, of course, a B, joystick and for any gamers out there we know how this thing go with the analog sticks for the ps4 the xbox and those things are all the way back to the atari where they won joystick all right 59 which of the, which of these has a ball positioned on top and of course the answer here is d a track ball mouse all right where the ball is to the top and just rotate the track ball number 60 which type of keyboard would most likely be used by a physically challenged person and the answer here is A, a concept keyboard. All right, so we'll stay here for now at 60. You know, 60 is normally the round number for CSEC.
uh, exams, it's like paper one exam. So we'll stay here for now. But there's a part two and possibly a part three coming up. So in order for you to be notified as to when those different parts would have dropped, you have to hit the notification bell, subscribe, hit the bell, so that you know when part two and maybe three would have dropped. All right. So please share the video. So that's it for the combined years for the CSEC IT paper one exams from some couple previous years and i hope you like what you see so thanks for watching thanks for listening